Internet, good morning, Daybreak Sum 48, coming back at you guys with yet again another Figma figure review. Today we are taking a look at the latest Figma to be released for the franchise Kantai Collection, also known as Kankolai. Now, you're going to be like, hmm, Daybreak, haven't you reviewed this chick already? Well, the thing with this is, she is pretty much an exact duplicate of another character that we got just recently. And for those of you guys who watched my Suzuya uh, Kai 2 figure review, it's essentially the same thing. So this one, it's going to be pretty darn quick, but let's get to it. Here we go. Today, we are going to be taking a look at Figma, product number 409, and this is Kimon Kimona Kai 2. I think that's uh, how you pronounce her name. I could be completely wrong here. But yeah, beautiful artwork right here of the actual figure. It showcases all the different display options that you have with the alternate face plates and all the accessories that you get with this particular figure. On this side, you have a beautiful shot of the actual figure, which is probably the way I'm going to be displaying my figure. So just giving you guys that little, uh, I guess, info. You get the instruction manual that you've seen all the time. You get the Figma display base. You get the Figma goodie bag. You get the standard rack of hands. So you have the... Um, I guess the gun wielding hand, the semi posed open palm hands, you have the gripping hands, and you have the close fisted hands. So that's pretty awesome. You also get with that a spare joint just in case you destroy or you break one of your pegs. Well, hey, Figma got you covered. They include this extra spare joint, which is pretty freaking awesome. On to the. Oh, Real quickly before I move on, you have this little doohickey, which is pretty much a extension of the actual display base for some more dynamic poses. You don't need to use this, but it's always great that they include stuff like that. Up next, let's talk about her main accessories. So you get two different face sculpts with her. You get this one right here, which is her looking off to the side, and she's kind of blushing and screaming. Beautiful just eyes right there. I love it. The face is done so perfectly. I love it. And then you have this one, which is her kind of like blushing and like shy looking, looking off to the side once again. And then uh, that's it for the face plates besides the one that comes on her. You get this piece right here, which is like her carrier piece. And yes, these pieces do move. So that's pretty cool. This piece right here is a very, uh, I guess, it's brittle for sure. It's pliable, but definitely on the brittle side. So you definitely want to be careful when you're handling this particular figure because if you're not careful, you can definitely break this piece. So do be very careful. Up next, you get her pistol right here or her turret. These two pieces are maneuverable and they're not jointed together. So you can get them in different poses like that. Now, why would you want to do that? I'm not really sure, but you have that option. So, pretty awesome. And lastly, of course, because she is a battleship girl, she needs a battleship part. So, this is the part that you get. Now, like I mentioned, she is pretty much an exact duplicate of the Suzuya Kai 2 that we just got. So, if you're tight on money and you just really want one of each style, then you might, you could definitely pass on this one. But for me personally, I am a completist, so I need to pick these up. Oh, anyways, with that said, nevertheless, she looks freaking adorable. Um, the, the main difference, and you know what? Since we're talking about it and comparing the two, here is, oh, here is, Suzuya with Kamano or Kimono, whatever. Well, as you guys can see, pretty much everything is identical from her base body to the turrets on the side of her legs to the just the badge right here. Suzuya has it right here, the uh, bow right there, even the undersides. Oh, actually, 
No, the undersides are different. So yeah, there you go for all you guys who are curious. Um, <laughs> so that's interesting. Uh, I, I wasn't expecting that to be honest. But anyways, so that's that. And then the only thing that's very different besides the underside is the face plates and the head. So essentially, you're purchasing it for the underside and the head. That's literally it. Everything else about this particular figure is exact duplicate of the Suzuya Kai that we just recently got. Articulation, the hair can swivel right here, can move up and down, so that's quite nice. Uh, this piece, be careful because it looked like it was glued on, so it, when you're maneuvering it, try not to hold it here because I feel like that can snap. And that's weird that they did it that way, but hey, whatever. From the front, you really can't tell. On the, uh, For the head, can look left, right, up, down. Now, something to note about this particular character, she does have this battleship piece on her head, so be very careful when you're maneuvering the head. Don't hold it here because you can definitely snap that antenna piece off. Hold it by the actual head. Well, if you want, if you want to swap out the head and put on a different faceplate, all you have to do pull off the existing hairpiece. Now she has no bangs, and yeah, she looks kind of weird, but it's all good because we'll fix her right up. Pull off the existing faceplate, and I'm gonna put on this one right here. That she's all looking kind of shy, and I think that's pretty freaking cute. There you go. Okay, so that's it for the head. The arms go all the way out, fully rotates. There is a bicep swivel built in, Figma jointed elbow, so you get more than 90 degrees, which is fantastic. The hands can pivot, they can move up and down, and pretty much all that you possibly want with this. When it comes to the upper diaphragm joint, there is one, but it is hidden because of the way this thing is sculpted. She has a waist swivel. So that's nice. When it comes to the legs, can almost do the splits, but because of the turn pieces, I mean, if you maneuver the turn pieces, you can get her to do a better split. But there you go. She has a thigh swivel built in, Figma joint for the knees, and the feet can go down that far, out that far, and you can rock side to side just a little, but you have to maneuver this joint in order for you to do that. So that is it for the articulation. So now let me just showcase how to swap out a hand and then we're pretty much going to set this, um, I guess, what's her name? Kimono Kai and we'll call it a day. So first I'm gonna pull off, ugh, this feels kind of tight. There you go. Pull off the existing hand. I'm going to then put on a close fisted hand. Because like I mentioned earlier, I want her, I want my Kimono Kai to be in that pose where she's kind of shy or upset. And then there you go. This hand can be placed like that. Her legs kind of in like a walking pose. I, mean, I could probably do a better job, but you guys get the gist. So there you go. Her battleship piece, uh, it has a little double ball, ball peg here, and here's the peg to put on to her back. So that's super simple, just make sure the hair is not in the way. So just push it in. There you go. Okay, so no problems there. Okay, and then lastly, I'm gonna put the battleship piece on this pig right here. So bam, there you have it guys. She is already fully posed. I mean, this is not the greatest pose for her, but you guys get the general gist. She looks super adorable. And I gotta say, uh, even though it's a minor change from Kazuya, I mean, they look freaking adorable together. Um, character wise, like I said, I don't know much about these particular characters because they were not in the anime. Uh, they're probably in the game, but they look awesome. Now, is this a must get? The answer is absolutely not. If you got this one right here and you really don't care for just an alternate face sculpt and the 
different undies, then this is a complete pass. But honestly, as a Kantai Collection fan, as a Battleship Girl fan, I mean, I needed to have her. So there you guys have it. That was K Kimono, Kimono, whatever her name is, Kimono Kai 2. Um, and yeah, if you guys have any questions or concerns about this particular figure, leave it in the comment section down below, and I'll get back to you ASAP. And with that said, if you're new to the channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Uh, if you guys want to check out my other videos, I have tons of Kantai Collection, Azor Lane, Battleship Girl figure reviews. And yeah, uh, I have plenty of other stuff, so do check it out. And with that said, until next time, guys, this is Daybreak748, and I'm signing out. Peace out, guys.